Welcome to Club Academia, where curiosity meets knowledge. Today we're diving into the fascinating world of memory in digital electronics. Memory is essential for storing and retrieving data, and there are various types, each serving specific functions in our devices. Let's explore the major types of memory and where you'll find them in action. This video will cover following memory types. 1. RAM – Random Access Memory 2. ROM – Read-Only Memory 3. Flash Memory 4. Cache Memory 5. Virtual Memory First up, we have RAM, or Random Access Memory. This type of memory is volatile, meaning it loses its data when the power is off. RAM is primarily used for temporary storage while your computer or device is running. There are two main types, DRAM Dynamic RAM, and SRAM Static RAM. DRAM is slower but more cost-effective, making it ideal for main memory in computers. SRAM is faster and more reliable but also more expensive, commonly found in cache memory for CPUs. Did you know that modern computers often have several gigabytes of RAM? This allows for multitasking and running complex applications smoothly. Next is ROM or read-only memory. Unlike RAM, ROM is non-volatile, which means it retains its data even when the power is off. ROM is primarily used to store firmware, permanent software programmed into the hardware. You'll find ROM in devices like BIOS chips in computers and embedded systems in appliances. There are different types of ROM, such as PROM, EEPROM, and EEPROM, each allowing for various levels of data rewriting. Let's look into PROM, EEPROM, and EEPROM. Overview and Comparisons PROM Programmable Read-Only Memory Definition, PROM is a type of non-volatile memory that is programmed after manufacturing. Once data is written to PROM, it cannot be changed. How it works, PROM is created with all its memory cells in a default state. During programming, selected cells are fused or burned out to create a specific pattern of ones and zeros. Usage, commonly used for applications where the data does not need to change, such as firmware for embedded systems. 2. EEPROM, Erasable Programmable Read-Only Memory Definition, EEPROM is also a non-volatile memory that can be erased and reprogrammed. It typically uses a floating gate transistor to store data. How it works, EEPROM can be erased using ultraviolet light, which exposes the chip through a small window. After erasure, it can be reprogrammed. Usage, often used for firmware and computer systems and devices where updates are needed but not frequently. EEPROM Electrically Erasable Programmable Read-Only Memory Definition EEPROM is a non-volatile memory that can be erased and reprogrammed electrically, allowing for in-circuit programming. How it works, EEPROM can be rewritten without removing the chip from the circuit. It can erase and rewrite individual bytes, making it more flexible than EEPROM. Usage, used in applications requiring frequent updates, such as BIOS chips, configuration settings in computers, and other devices. Some modern devices use EEPROM to update firmware, making it possible to improve software performance without replacing hardware. PROM, EEPROM, and EEPROM are all non-volatile. All three types retain data even when power is turned off. Differences between PROM, EEPROM, and EEPROM. PROM, once programmed, it cannot be altered. EEPROM requires ultraviolet light for erasure and can be reprogrammed multiple times. EEPROM can be electrically erased and rewritten without removal from the circuit. Now let's talk about flash memory. This type of memory is also non-volatile and has gained immense popularity due to its speed and reliability. It's commonly used in USB drives, SSDs, solid state drives, and memory cards. Flash memory allows for faster data access compared to traditional hard drives and is more durable since it has no moving parts. It's essential for portable devices and is often used in smartphones and tablets. Did you know that flash memory can endure about 10,000 write cycles? This makes it a robust option for both consumer and industrial applications. Next, we have cache memory. Cache is a small size type of volatile memory that provides high speed data access to the CPU. It stores frequently accessed data and instructions to reduce the time it takes for the processor to retrieve information from RAM. There are multiple levels of cache such as L1, L2, and L3 each with different speeds and capacities. L1 is the fastest and located closest to the CPU cores, while L3 is larger but slower. 
The use of cache memory can significantly boost performance, allowing modern CPUs to operate at speeds exceeding several gigahertz. Now, let's explore virtual memory. This is not a physical memory type, but a memory management technique that allows a computer to compensate for physical RAM shortages by temporarily transferring data to the disk storage. Virtual memory enables systems to run larger applications than what physical RAM would allow by creating an illusion of a larger memory space. It's a crucial feature in operating systems like Windows and Linux. Using virtual memory can sometimes slow down a system, as accessing data from a hard drive is slower than accessing it from RAM. That's why having sufficient physical RAM is still important. In summary, each type of memory plays a unique role in digital electronics, from the rapid access of RAM and cache to the permanence of ROM and flash memory. Understanding these different memory types helps us appreciate how our devices operate seamlessly. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more tech insights. Drop your questions or topics you'd like us to cover next in the comments below. Thanks for watching Club Academia. Stay tuned for more explorations of the wonders of science and technology. Until next time, keep questioning and stay curious.